Obviously, we've talked somewhat about megrolimab. Now, there's a whole group of anti-CD47 agents. I think there's, last time I looked, 15 in clinical trial development and many in the preclinical development. You know, those ultimately lead to activation of macrophages, which are one of the key innate cell um, effectors. And again, most of the trials right now have been high risk. There is a cohort of patients with lower risk patients. And Again, if we have synergy with high risk, why not in low risk? Um, whether or not there's differential impact of, of, of macrophage activation and phagocytosis in low risk versus high risk, I actually think is a, an unknown question right now. Um, there are other immune cell effectors, natural killer cells, um, that may also, you know, have a role. And there are NK therapies, although these are really being looked at predominantly in the AML setting or maybe high risk MDS um, AML setting. And I think the key is is that there's a lot of changes that, that happens both not just with the innate immune system, but with the adaptive immune system, and then they go together. So if you get increased, um, you know, macrophage or dendritic cell and an increase antigen presentation that may activate the adaptive immune system. So what does one may impact the other? I think what we really need to see, and I think this is most relevant to these combinations like megrolimab, sabatolimab, and others, is what's truly happening in the immune microenvironment in our patients. And so what is just patients getting a remission and what is unique from the combination? And I think because today we've only had single arm trials, we, we're not able to answer this, but I think the key translationals in some of these phase threes where we have an azacytidine control arm is, can we see unique differences even early on? Can we predict which patients may have not only just a response, but the best duration of response? And again, what is actually happening in that immune microenvironment for patients on treatment? Venetoclax has potentially a lot of interesting um, abilities to augment adaptive immunity, um, which I think was kind of unique rele um, revelation over this sort of past year. And so I think a lot to answer, but really hopefully can have the right translational objectives um, in some of these phase three trials.